Hi, I'm Sue Boo bringing crafting to you and today we're using uh, the Daisy Lane stamp set and the Iconic dies. I really love uh, the Iconic dies. I have cut out these beautiful uh, ferns. Look at the detail in there. Uh, it's, it's lovely, so nice. So I've gone ahead and stamped uh, using the daisy lane I've and the big uh, stamp I have stamped out four and punched them out of the daisies I have also used the die and cut six out of these now um, I've used the ombre paper uh, that was the apple green that we got free with the um, celebration time so you got uh, the blackberry bliss on one side and then this is granny apple green on the other so uh, I just thought that this paper was interested uh, interesting when you cut it out in these dies it just gave that added interest to the foliage I've also ahead of time stamped out a happy birthday and uh, fussy cut around it so uh, let's begin. I'm using a 5x7 um, card, um, so it is uh, 10 inches by 7 inches and I'm just going to fold and burnish that. So I thought I'd do a bigger card base today. Um, there we go six so using a bigger card base so just burnish that <clears throat> i've then got a piece of uh, melon mambo that measures um i think it was i'll just get my trimmer to measure but i think i've done it four and a half yes four and a half by six and a half so that's your melon mambo four and a half by six and a half now i haven't got much melon mambo left so instead of because this is a mat instead of leaving that i'm going to take a little bit out of that so i'm going to put it in at um i think one inch i think i'll roughly put it in at one inch and start at um maybe three quarters of an inch, hang on, my blade. So I'm putting my blade in. In fact, I'm going to take this back to three quarters of an inch. So I'm going three quarters of an inch in and three quarters of an inch down. And I'm just gonna cut going down to about five and three quarters. And then I'll come in again at three quarters of an inch match my score line with my blade take it down to about three and three quarters lift up come round take it back into three quarters match up with my line and come down again to uh, five and three quarters roughly turn it into go to the three quarters and cut between my two lines okay there we go and if you've not quite cut just use your paper snips and i'm just going to snip that out normally if i wanted a perfect straight edge i would have gone back in with my trimmer and fussed a bit more but all i'm really wanting is to just keep some of my melon mambo because uh, sorry my uh, mango melody because i haven't got much left so we can use that for other things now. Okay, so I'm going to move my trimmer out of the way and bring back in. Uh, I'm going to then mount this up onto my card. So I won't have to use as much glue doing this. So just go around the other side of this frame. Nobody will know that um, I've cut this piece out. I'm just going to go around that. So there we go. And give it an 
equal increment all the way round. I'm just going to flatten that down a bit. So make sure that's nice and straight. Okay. And then my piece of white, I have cut at uh, four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And I've run this through an embossing fold. You can do it with any embossing folder. I have just chosen to use the subtle embossing folder, but I just felt the plain white was too plain. And so it's got this lovely um, embossed feature now. You could use um, the Tasteful Textures, I think it's called. There's lots of embossing folders that you could use. Just any that you've got, really, just to take that edge off it just being plain white. So I just wanted to do that. Okay, so just going to give an equal increment all the way round now. There we go. Let's smooth that down, make sure it's really on there. Okay, and then I'm going to position three of my leaves at the top, and I'm going to go three at the bottom. I've got a darker one and uh, two lighter ones. The ombre effect and then I'm going to put my daisy in the middle so just move that out of the way while we build our daisy now some of them um, I found didn't print as well as what I stamp as well as what I wanted so I'm not going to waste any I'm just going to uh, just cover it up so I'm just going slightly off like that and then I'm going to pick the next one and take that slightly again and then the final one for the top I'm going to go slightly oops again so we've got plenty of layers there on the daisy so just give it equal just space them out so that you're happy with that it's covering they're making it look interesting so make sure it covers so you can curl this as well so you could curl a few of these leaves i want it fairly flat to fit in cards so it's not giving too much height but you could flick them about oops I've moved it so just make sure you get the even spaces of your flowers okay so there and uh, I'm going to pop that up in a minute on dimensionals but before I do this I have cut out now is it going to show you is it going to this is our rainbow glimmer paper and I've just cut into it I'll show you the paper in a minute it's absolutely gorgeous I'm going to do that for the center of my flower it goes lovely into different colours and I've just cut in to the bit where it's Mango Melody on there to just coordinate. I think that's, I think it's Mango Melody. I'll just double check. Um, yes, it is Mango Melody. So it goes Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green, Magenta Madness and Mango Melody. So I have gone into that. I actually think it goes a bit on the yellow side as well. So that could be almost Daffodil Delight, really. I think that's stuck. So there we go. Right, so I'm going to pop that on dimensionals. Let me go that 
before I do that, I want to position. So I'm going to see whereabouts this is and I'm going to put my sentiment at the bottom. So I'm going to arrange these so that they go a bit further near the top and then this can go near the bottom right. So I'm happy roughly with the position. So I'm going to pop some glue on the back of my leaves. So just put a bit of glue on my leaves and I'm going to lightly just put that there a minute because uh, I really should have put this one down first. So that one's going to go underneath there and then this one can go on the top and then we'll put this one on the top as well. So just put your little bit of glue on there. And put this one out a little bit. Place them out. And we'll do the same with the bottom, but this time I'll do the middle one. So the middle one is darker. So I'm just going to pop that roughly there and then bring these out. These are just so gorgeous, these leaves. I've just really, really loved them. Okay. So just spread them out. Doesn't matter how they go because leaves in nature are not perfect. They just are all over the place. So let's mimic nature and just let them fall where they fall. Okay, so I'm just going to pat those down. Okay, and then bring in the dimensionals. And we'll put, I think, just one. So if that forces that to go the other way, that will be fine. That went in the middle. And I'll peel off the back. And then just... Kind of centre that in the middle. So we go like that. And then our happy birthday we'll put on some dimensionals as well. So let's do that. Just brought that M bit a little bit. Sorry, off camera showing you. So I'm going to cut into here. Uh, I've got one more there. So I'll use that. And oh, perhaps use one more. There we go. So that supports the happy birthday, lovely. So there's plenty on there. And now let's position that where we want it. I want to go near the bottom but there we go so there so just think that uh, these ferns are very close to what this fern looks like when i first saw these i thought they were taller and slimmer and when you put them at the side of these they are quite a lot fatter um, but give the same sort of impression and I just think that's just really pretty um, we could finish off with uh, putting more uh... yes fine Valerie thank you for uh, supporting me do appreciate that um, so there we go um, so that's our card for today. Uh, we can uh, use inside. We can put our daisy. So uh, I'm going to put our smaller daisy. In fact, uh, let's see. Should put our smaller daisy. Um, let's see what it says. The best moments happen with you. It's your time to shine. Um, 
I'll, I think I'm going to do the sentiment at a later date but what I will be doing is putting a daisy through the middle of my sentiment uh, so that will be the finished inside the card so I'm not going to do that today when I write the card I will do it then so hope you like that uh, thank you very much for watching if you're watching from my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that you won't miss any further uploads that I do thank you uh, very much if you like the products that I've used and you haven't got a demonstrator I would be love to be your demonstrator uh, there will be a link to my online shop uh, to buy the products I'm a stamping up demonstrator so if you would like to um, purchase anything through me uh, you always get rewards and a thank you card so uh, thank you very much um, if you want to join my team um, become a habit hobby demonstrator you don't have to film or um, do any youtube videos or anything you can just be a hobby demonstrator i've already got somebody on my team that's just a hobby demonstrator so if you'd like to do that you're very welcome uh just message me if you're interested thank you very much and stay safe stay well bye